So, big hello to my friend John Cavana, the owner and operator of Gray Granite Railroad. So, this is going to be the master steam gauge for Baldwin number no. seven. He's commissioned me to find him a gauge and also make one beautiful if I couldn't find one that met my standards and I couldn't. So, what I did was I got this pretty plain Jane one. It's a beautiful Crosby Boiler Master, but the face was just the regular straight across face. So, what I did was I skeletonized it, right? Skeleton, I just made a hole in it, and I, I was trying to make a nice uh, ornate brass bezel to sort of accent the inner diameter of that hole, but I crunched it up in the lathe because I didn't have a way to hold it right. But I took this brass plate, I engine turned it, which is a process where you sort of press a felt impregnated with a lapping compound into it repeatedly to make this circular pattern, you do it all by hand and eye. So this is going to go right there. I'm going to polish up this movement here as best I can. Face goes like this. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm sort of a stickler for European fit and finish. And the one area that the United States matched that was its steam gauges. So, oh yeah, hold on. I'm just forgetting one thing here. I'll show you the finished product. So, Mr. Cavana, here is your master gauge, uh, slightly improved. I'm going to letter it uh, for that railroad and for the locomotive it's going in. And it's kind of a exhibition style demonstration theater gauge. And you can see the mechanism now. So now when we run the locomotive together, um, we can show people exactly how a pressure gauge works.